What's up, Paul? Yeah. How are you feeling, man? Feeling good right now. Yeah? Yeah, so... Back from Tokyo. Back from Tokyo and... Uh, gotta get back to it. Yeah? You know? Yeah. So we've got 5th Avenue Mile in a few weeks? Yeah, 5th Avenue Mile and yeah. then... Uh, uh, a few weeks later, like New York 5K. Yeah. Yeah, road, road, just road races, just extra soft bonus and yeah. just... Just get her some races in because like my year, like I didn't get a lot of races, so just, just uh, I still have the strength to keep going. So yeah. just get races in and close the year and start my season again, like maybe late next year. Okay. Yeah. 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 What's on the uh, What's on the program today? Today is uh, just a three mile tempo. Yeah. Just a bit of maintenance. Just a three mile tempo. Go there. And See what I can do, man. Like it's big goal is just to enjoy and yeah. no intensity, like no yeah. crazy stuff. Now it's like yeah. the goal now is like just to just to run, yeah. just to run and get the fitness. <laughs> going. That's the only thing, so I don't get I don't get like chubby and stuff. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dante, oh, good, to good to have you back. What's up? What's up? What's the uh, what's going on? How's the iron? I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. <laughs> now, it's going better. Paul finally snapped me out of that iron phase, so now I don't even care. I don't, okay. even, I don't even pay attention to it. You ran the you ran the uh, oh the pro street mile. mile. Oh yeah, yeah, that was that was fun. Yeah, there's a lot of man from this YouTube channel. There's a lot of fans there. Yeah, man, I ran into Boulder High School fans and all type of people. I'm actually going supposed to be going to go talk at Boulder High School. They want me to go talk to the cross country team. Oh sweet. Yeah, okay. man. The man is making bank. He's banking. He's oh, banking. No, he's he's banking. Huh? He says the guy that just ran 809 for two miles. Yep. Just trying to survive. He says it's an easy day for him. That means death for me. <laughs> yep. So tell us about the Pearl, uh, the Pearl Street Mile. You you got to be excited at the start. Oh, you, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, it was me and the guy from Tin Man, Joey. Yeah. I went out like 201 for the first half mile. Yeah. After, after he won the trial, after he won the medal, I took like three weeks off of no running at all. So I ran the day before the one mile, and then I went out there and went 201 for the first half. <laughs> and I died. <laughs> it was fun though. It was like a lot of fans. I wasn't expecting that at all. It was like a lot of people. What people recognize you? Yeah, a lot of yeah. people that recognized me. And I, was, I didn't even, even, I met, also I met, uh, what's the guy? Oh, Sydney. Yeah, oh, yeah. I was Sydney. a big fan of him before I yeah. came out here. And I met him, for the guy I used to run with Tin Man, with the little flat top, short guy. From ten, he ran the What's 10 man elite. Sydney, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Get, get he. Oh, Gidabudi. Yeah, yeah Gidabudi. Yeah. That's it. Gidabudi. Yeah, that's yeah. how you pronounce yeah, it. Was, it was dope, yeah, yeah. That's one of the guys I used to watch before I came out here. So that was dope. Yeah. And he knew who I was, which was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, he was like, oh, I know who you are. You from Sweden. I said, what the? I came fanboy and he knew exactly who I was. <laughs> that's what happens when you train with us, man. But if you're training in Texas, no, no. No one would know you, bro. Hey, man. So the loop today is like a one mile. Loop. Yeah, we're gonna go three times loop. around. Yeah, one mile loop, yeah. and we're gonna see how it goes. You know, like it's. He's about to run my see. tempo pace. That random guy might be joining. <laughs> we might, might race. <laughs> yeah, but but it's just a one mile loop, loop and uh, as I said, big goal is just to just keep the fitness going and. Yeah. Um, like honestly, it's like my brain is shut off. You know, yeah. my brain is like my mind is like. You done, man. The big things are done and everything. So yeah. just go, just go ahead and do your, do your thing, man. I'm and uh, and honestly, I'm so excited. Scott saying I'm doing a three mile tempo. That's that's gotta be excitement, you know? <laughs> because Scott is like my show up and say like, okay, Paul, we're doing like eight mile tempo today. Yeah. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> so it's good, you know. Like I can get to enjoy and have fun, and you know, it's the only time like. We get to have a chance and yeah. do like a three mile tempo only and go back home. So, yeah. yep. The rest of your squad taking a, they're on holidays or? Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on. Like, they've been going like, <laughs> they've been going like a, more than a month. Nah, it's been way longer than a month. They left after the trials. I don't know. I the mean, old you... team decided to retire or what? So, it's like, <laughs> the it's whole just team like, at once. Yeah, man. It's like, yeah. it's been like a month now. Like, no yeah. one has been. A month now or so, I've been training me and Dante. This guy's still here. Guys, so. Yeah, man. Cool. All right, let's the tempo. reason why he got the medal. Let's get the tempo going. Don't forget. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. We got the Lexus crew. 
we yeah yeah we like we, we bleed the same. This car is yeah these cars are hybrid. You know what I'm getting? I'm getting 49 miles per gallon. Exactly. It's 49. Yes, yes. 49. My cat that gets probably 13. <laughs> and you run premium. <laughs> exactly, at four yeah. and a quarter. <laughs> 40 bucks put me at like three fourths of the way through. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it's like so. Shoot. I'll see you around. Huh? Yeah, you guys have a good workout. Yeah, this is two percent. Why didn't you tell me? I, I could have bought the same ones. This is two percent, huh? I could have brought them. Remember the last time I mismatched them? I had the yeah. white one and the blue one. Yeah. I should. Why we could have matched? Why? Are they, the, <laughs> are they the, the next percent too? Huh? Next percent too? Is, is this like yeah, the, the two percent or something? Okay. Yeah, it's like uh, <laughs> I think it's. I think so. Let me see. I don't know. I think I have the all white ones in my car. But this trail I'm not fun. I think they're the two. Yeah. It's the two. I ran on it's the red the trail, but I'm going to pull the bottom of my shoe red. So, uh, you're the new spokesperson for Artican. What is Artican? And uh, yeah, what's uh, what's the deal? Yeah, so like, uh, Artican is a company that sells bracelets. Yeah. So, we started like randomly with just my friend and. Yeah. Now I own part of the company. Oh, cool! Yeah, okay. I've, I own part of the. Yeah, I'm a shareholder of the company, and uh, and I get sponsored by them, so I get to double dip. Yeah. Sweet. So nothing is better than that, and also also it's like it's a small company, so we're growing up together. I'm growing up with them, and you know, for me, it's like I don't like uh, I don't like chasing for big deals. Yeah. I like starting with small companies and growing up with them yeah. which is the best place the best position to be in so it's the same thing with Arikane and X Endurance yeah. so these are like companies that are still growing and growing quick so I want to be part of it and keep growing with them and yeah let's have a look at that bracelet yeah yeah okay I so know Craig is, Engels is also been yeah yeah Craig Engels does that he supports Arikane too and yeah. we're just trying to next thing is like the company grows and it's like really a big company you are like man it's crazy how we started this thing it's like a it, like randomly and it's like yeah blowing yeah, up blowing but up. the, yeah, yeah, but the thing is right now it's like crazy part is like i see the company growing up yeah. every day yeah so that's the crazy crazy part it's like growing up every day and it's it's pretty good like just generally all my sponsors you know without without my sponsors it's like Everything won't be possible, you know, waking up every day and getting the motivation and yeah, yeah so it's, it's, it's amazing, you know, like it's, you know, I get to get my, I get to get customized shoes, you know, like see like, yeah. this is like customized, it's like got my PV right there, 1257, oh, yeah. 55, yeah. it's got my name right there, so you got my name like somewhere right there. You yeah. see like Chalimo yeah. right there. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, you get you get to do such things, you know, like. So I mean, it's 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 good to have sponsors and you get to get the good things. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Or am I wrong? Three, three miles only. Yeah. All right. Yep. Only. Okay, that's okay, good. Okay, that's my this is what it's telling him, and he was like, "That's uh, a good yeah, sign, man." So can I add on if I feel good? Yeah, or you it's can. Fine. Yeah, yeah, because you didn't work out. Of course, maybe I can go to. And, and Sam might too. I'm thinking like maybe just transition, but at course, least. But you might go. I might go easier pace. So if I go easier, I feel good. It's like it's just always good to yeah. just add on, get some volume in. But yeah. three miles, perfect. Let's keep it at three. <laughs> Let's keep it at three and see what else happens. <laughs> Sam just said he had surgery. Are you yeah, doing? Yeah, he did. Uh, he actually had two appendix. Miles. I'm doing three mile tempo, but I'm if they're going 440, then I'm not going to do that. No, I want you. I want you to do the whole thing, so you need to go out slow. Slow, okay. Slower. Yeah, yeah. Five, fifteen. Okay, that's cool. That's good. Okay, it's more like it. How are you feeling, man? Yeah. Okay. Can you do three mile okay. tempo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't count me in. Uh, I'm just coming out of surgery, so I don't know yep. what pace we should go. Easy. This is my first workout. This is really my yeah. third day running back. I had my appendix yeah. removed like a month ago. Okay. Yeah. So I get to get a huge so pace. Try and get back in to get like slowly. slowly. Did you have to a complete time off or? Yeah, I took 14 days off. 14 days off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then I started jogging, so we'll find out today. But I can always like 
I don't know. Five. Everybody's coming off rest, but Paul. 5.10? Yeah. Okay. 5.30. Oh, my God. Yeah. If things go to plan and you recover, <laughs> fine. Do you have any races in mind? or? Um, like, I'm shooting by the Army 10 mile. Oh, yeah. And then some fall races. But really, like right now, my main focus is cross country. Cross country? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. In January. Hey, you were in the Army 10 And you will try and make the USA yeah. team to compete in Australia? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Cool. Sweet. yeah. That's the goal. You I love cross country. Yeah. 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 You've been to Australia before? Yeah. 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 I've been to South Africa, man. I won South Africa in 2014. Oh, you did. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, I had a good time. Yeah. So I want to go back there again. Oh, no, that's a good thing. Yeah, can you call? Yeah, he can work. Yeah, he can do it. Are you in the same room? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
times 200. <laughs> I'm so frustrated with myself. <laughs> no, way better than what the hell I'm doing. Give up with you, but my chest is like, yeah, can't go. How'd it go? No, I'm pissed at myself, man. I'm way better than what the hell I'm doing. I keep getting into my own head. Because even come through at 5:15, I wasn't tired. But then when I got about right there, I was like, I'm supposed to be tired right now. And then as soon as I started thinking it, I got tired. What? Yeah, Bro. I'm mentally, I'm fucking myself up. Go out or something, man. I told you over there. I know. I went my, yesterday in my recovery run. I closed in 5:30. I didn't feel hard. Don't, don't, close, don't close in 5 30 on your recovery. Yeah. Take it easy on your recovery. Yeah. There's two strikes. It was, it was just, I don't know, I think it was crazy cool outside. I ran at like 8 9. And that was the first time I ran. It wasn't steaming hot outside. So it felt easy. Bro, you gotta fix your mind. That's it. Yeah, yeah. No. It's a process. Really. Yeah. No, I mean, I mean <laughs> the thing is, the thing is, you think about it. When you think about it, yeah, just, that's really just what happened. The, when I went right recovery. here, when he said I was at 5, whatever, I was like, I'm not even tired. And once I got about two, and I looked and saw y'all two down there, I'm like, ah, oh, shit. Here you mm -hmm. come. But the thing, so but it took about a minute or two, then it mentally fucked me up. I know so what you me. mean, but <clears throat> yeah. the difference is, me too, I felt the same way. It's tough because of, uh, we used to track tempos, man. Yeah. It's like different. It's a different like type of terrain. And also, I wasn't doing tempos at all before this. I was straight track. This feels Sunday, different, Sunday, Sunday, you didn't have the long runs. Sunday, yeah. yeah. You gotta get there first. Yep. <laughs> This is, my, this is my third day running back 30 seconds. Maybe not for me. For me? Yeah. I didn't feel anything like that. Just be careful with your hands. Like, when I first started, I, I felt like the one way that they cut it off. Yeah. But, yeah. just be careful with your hands. I really need to take it easy. Yeah. Yeah. We got plenty of time. Yeah. Yeah. You got some 30 seconds? Huh? about the chef this season, you're just like... Man, I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> I should be chilling. He will. Yeah. That'll be fine. Yeah. 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 I mean, 809 for two miles. And now you just tell them, just it's unleash like, them to one, just one just fast mile. Yeah. I saw these dudes run 405 at the end of workouts. 
tell you about something crazy. We're going to turn this on like, oh, yeah, 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 the, the shade yeah. has all looking real dark. All right, yeah. Like this. yeah. There you go. That's pretty good. Hey. All right, thank you so much. Is Paul going to do some 30 seconds? Or is he going to do some 30 second efforts? Or? Yeah. Six by 30 seconds, Paul? Yeah. Six by 30 seconds? We're waiting until Tuesday. The hardest summer for the rest of your life. Let's go. We'll be on the track. Keep fucking up. I'm just trying to get back. It's like, I feel like I'm there. Yeah. 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 And everything works, it's like. I don't think so. No, we'll try not. These guys are way yeah. 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 Everybody else will be okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm that type of guy. Like, I can go around even 2 p.m. So, I mean, the later the better for me because, like, even 8 a.m. here, like, everyone is going to school and work. It's crazy traffic in the morning. Yeah. So, like I said, man, I don't know what he yeah, sent my unit, man. Huge. But it's like whatever you said, it's gospel. They told me Friday, Saturday, Sunday, don't even show up to work. They said just go home and go to work. Coach helped, huh? Yeah, man. He said something, man. And he has my whole chain of commands here. So it's like it's an important guy from an official email, man. He, he's I wish legit. I wish most commanders were that way. Yeah. That's what he said. He was like, man, just go out there and get the standard, man. He said, we have no problem. Wherever you want to go, just. Wow. Yeah, you need to be there Sunday. Yeah. Now you got the Sunday off, man. So. I've been having Sunday off. I used, I used to do it with Bernard, though. I think y'all got, y'all were going. This yeah. is me, Edna, and Bernard doing the long run. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Exit 163. Oh, shit. That's where we're going. <laughs> That's why he's saying come Sunday. <laughs> that, that road is worse than Max. Yeah, really? the, yeah, the road we're going to is way worse than Max. It's rolling hills the whole time. There's no fun. What's the elevation up there? Yeah, I know, like, four cars. I can't be I have to ask. If you're, you're going to race. Hey, Sam. What's the, uh, what's the elevation at that, that, that road that y'all do y'all long run for? Yeah. Yeah. Area something. Oh, wherever you're for 160, yeah. 160 yeah. Wherever it is, yeah. Oh, 7,000. 7, yeah, seven, 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 seven thousand. Yeah. Seven thousand two hundred. Yeah. Seven thousand two hundred. Oh my God, it's going to be here. Yeah. Yeah. And this is a transition for you, even though you have some races, but it's a transition. Right now, it doesn't matter. Like the big, big thing is done. Truck season. I mean, to me, I feel like it was a success. And like, a, like I said, in Lausanne, yeah. they were just out there. I told you. There was no sense in you going. Yeah. I told you. Yeah. yeah. I told you in Lausanne yeah. was like. And then, and then Zurich is going to be the same way. Oh, so. sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. All yeah, the guys yeah. who didn't didn't run in Tokyo or didn't run well in Tokyo were just out for revenge. So why <laughs> give them that chance? <laughs> I mean, right now, yeah, this makes any sense, sense to run the track. Yep. So, Tokyo, Olympics is over, so. Yep. Anyways, that's what I need. I feel accomplished for yeah. this season. After you got that medal, I felt like I won the trophy. I was like, yep, we're good. I mean, we work together, man. It's like, it's not like I, it's not like it's my own thing. Man. It's not like I did it on my own. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's all I me. Mean, I got I to gotta get out of that, that sprinting mindset. That's the biggest thing. I'm still in like a sprinter mindset. That's not what I'm really doing anymore. And one thing you got to know, like walking out by yourself, is the toughest thing ever, man. Yeah. Just having someone, even in biking today, yeah. was like a big difference. Yeah. I feel like I had people walking out with So mm. it's a good thing, man. So. No, it's cool. I, say, I still like, went through way quicker. Look how riding all this like connection, man. Like they just like met. You, you think they're friends. Mm. So. They don't even know each other. Mm. Okay, yeah. Like, yeah, that's usually. Yeah, like, it's like, already like they, they know each other already. Yeah. They're like, look at my kicks, man. I got the fly kicks. I got the best kicks, man. Look at my. Yeah. I still did decent today, though. Two miles, 515. That's solid, man. Yeah. All mental. Not a sprinter anymore. I need to get that out of my head. Just like. When you just think about, like, oh, I'm tying up, I'm getting tired. It I has, think that yeah. that thing goes to your brain. Yeah, yeah. And once your it brain just happened today. Yeah, once your brain accepts yeah. it like that, it's just done. Yeah. So I think that's one thing I've come to, like with my experience. What I what I've got from the experience is that when your body says like, unless it's crazy, crazy. But if your mind is just playing with you and saying like, you just feel like oh this and that and that. You sometimes you just have to like think about something else. Yeah. Think about different. Different things. Don't think about that same thing. The 20 year old taking advice from the 40 year old. Ah, he's 40, Paul. 40. I'm gonna punch this guy. <laughs> so, what do you think about when it gets hard? Hey, 40, huh? What do you think? You said you switch your brain off trying to think of something else? Yeah, when, when it gets tough, it's like I try to. I try to toughen up more. Yeah. 
and try to think mile by mile or lap by lap instead of just thinking, oh, this tempo is really too far. You know, it's crazy. Because today, like, the tempo run, my goal was just to do three. Yeah. Coach said we do three, but I just kept going mile by mile by mile by mile. Yeah. Once I got to mile three, it's one more mile to go. I'm like, gotta keep going, man. Yeah. That's how, I, if it's a six mile tempo, same thing. I just do like mile by mile by mile by mile, and yeah. at the end of the day, it's like, it's over. So yeah. I just try to break it down, yeah. and I just try to be tough mentally because sometimes it's like whatever. Whatever you think it's like, whatever your muscles can coordinate is all the way to the brain. Yeah. So if your muscles are like tying up and you just, your brain says, oh, you're tying up, it just goes to the muscles again. Hmm. It's like, it's just, everything is connected. So sometimes it's like, you just need that extra motivation and be tough. Because one thing that I know, like since, I don't know since when, man, I never dropped in a race, no. never, since I started running. I don't know what type, I don't know what race I dropped out. I don't think, of, I can't think of any. If I dropped out, maybe I was injured, but it's been years and years, like I've never dropped out in a race. Mm. Because I know, that's like the mind thing. Once your mind tells you to drop out in a race, it's, done. it's, it's gonna be a routine, you're gonna keep dropping out. Yeah. Me once. So the same thing is like, same thing with the brain, it's like, yeah. if you get tired, and you're getting used to like, oh, I can't do this. It's so tough, man. I wanna, I wanna just quit. You know, like it gets to a point like it just becomes normal to you. Yeah. Quitting is normal, and everything is just, it's just that way. So that's why I go with one thing, man. Go hard or suffer the rest of your life. That's right. If you don't go hard, you suffer, man. You're just gonna keep dropping out. You're gonna be so. That's how. That's, that's how I think. Like, yeah, much, that's how I think. Like. <laughs> Same thing, man. You can't, can't the Olympics. If you don't go out, man, you could. I mean, I could suffer the rest of my life. But yeah, yeah that's that's exactly the same thing. He did it. I needed to dig really deep. And for me, it's like I do my best, man. It's yeah. not like it's not like I show up. I'm talented or anything. Yeah. There might be talent, but I dig deep, man. I dig deep, and oh, yeah. most of it is like. Maybe that's the it's biggest just, benefit maybe, of running with them. Maybe it's just tough, yeah. just a tough mentality. So, yeah. pretty much it's like, that's how I believe, you know, like, where I've grown up, the way I've grown up, this is, this is like the best way to get out of trouble. If I work so hard like this, this is the best way to make it in life. Mm -hmm. No one is going to show up and just appoint, like, like, say, and say, like, where is this guy, Paul Chilimo? I want to make him my CEO of my company. No way, bro. You gotta work so hard. you gotta work hard. Yeah. You don't you don't think good things won't come to you, you gotta work hard. And the thing is for me, with my talent, now no one can control. Mm. I go to the track, I do my thing, no one can control. Unless they put chains on my back, <laughs> then I can start complaining. But now it's like it's open. Yeah. The trail is open, we start all, all together on the same line. Mm. If I mess up, it's on my own. It's just me, you know. That's what's up, man. <laughs> I try to talk too much, man. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry about me, man. <laughs> All right. Dante, you got some words for Morgan Pearson? Yeah, Morgan. <laughs> you owe me a triathlon bike. <laughs> you told me if I get some medal, you will help me train try. <laughs> so, as this video comes out, I want my trot bike, and I'm coming to boat or to run with you. <laughs> oh, yeah, and also, shout out to Andrew Murray. He won the U20 World Champs for the triathlon. Shout or out. Or U19. Andrew Murray? Yeah, Andrew Murray, yeah. Shout out to Andrew Murray. Yeah. But big, man. That would be big, yeah. That would be big, like. If I want the car, we got coming up. Yeah? yeah. Don't tell Mikey. I never, used, like those. You. I never yeah. used those, though. So I don't want him to stop making it. <laughs> you're, you're a fan of the, the next percent tempo? Tempo. This is like. You were saying before, they, you seem to think they last a bit longer than. Like, they last longer for me. Okay. Longer than any other show, boy. They're a little bit. They got. Have they got a carbon fiber plate? No. No. But they got this little bouncy thing over here. Yeah. It makes like a sound on the road. Okay. Like a clicking sound. That's the only thing. Yeah. If you ever go to those meetings, have them like fix whatever. It, it like makes a sound. This shoe and the the new, uh, whatever the alpha fly. Yeah. That that hair part right there. Yeah. It makes a clicking sound. It's annoying as hell on the road. 
Oh yeah. 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 What like, are those? What are those? I know they're the custom ones, but are they like Pegasus? Or? Pegasus, yeah. Pegasus, yeah. Pegasus, yeah. Seven? Seven, yeah. They your preference for like long runs? Or yeah, uh, I like them because they're light. Yeah. Of course, I keep switching between Romero's and the Pegasus. Oh, yeah. Of course, Pegasus sometimes is like... It's light. Spot, I get like killless issues okay. sometimes. Yeah. So when it gets tight, I just switch them. Okay. I try to use like Romero's. Romero's, they have more cushion. Mm -hmm. It's more cushion than Pegasus, so... That's the difference, like, usually I just keep changing. Of course, um, I've had an history, like, before I used to get, like, Achilles issues, and I was wearing Pegasus every time, but then it's like, I switched it, and it's like, for me, Romero is my favorite. Crazy part is like, when you hang out with the Kenyans, this is the Kenyan shoes, actually. Yeah? Actually. When you go to Kenya right now, Almost yeah. all of them wear Pegasus. No, I even when I was in college, my school yeah. was sponsored by Asics. Yeah. I think Pegasus is the most stable, long distance shoe you yeah. can find. All like the high seriously, school, we were yeah. Adidas and they forced us to wear those. For long stuff, yeah. this shoe is really, really like designed for just like exactly long, so, like I, like I, you know like elite. Yeah. That's the shoe. A lot of Kenyans wear Pegasus, so it's like when you get in the game, yeah. it's like now if someone asks me like what's the best shoes, I'm like. Maybe yeah. Pegasus is good, and that's, anywhere. that's how you start, you know? Yeah. So that's how I started, because in college we were sponsored, they call you a sponsor, like, right, it was Asics. Yeah. So I used to know, like, about Asics only. But then when I came, started learning with Paul Keram, Paul Keram, Aaron, Rono, all those guys, Shadrach, even till today, Shadi, mm -hmm. they still wear Pegasus. Yeah. So, yeah. When they, just that's just that. When I got to them, it's like, we, I started with Pegasus, but then after a while, I tried the. Romero? I tried the. I was switching. I tried the structures. Yeah, no, no, that's not. No, that's for that's for stability. That's get and drop shoes, man. Get and drop the wear structures. Because it's, yeah. it's, you probably like need the stability. Yeah, like so. I tried the structures, but then it's like it's too. It's like running on wood, bro. Yeah. It's like so hard on my feet. So I tried. I tried Romero's. Yeah. And that was it, man. I I Romero's was my favorite, and then. Now I'm getting back to Pegasus too. Like I try and I'll switch back and forth. Can you Romero's try this? Pegasus. Try just let me know what you think. Yeah. Actually, that's a good thing. I'm gonna try get those and see yeah. see how it feels. I was, I was those on my recovery yeah. runs. I got the little mango color ones, the little orange ones. Yeah. Tempos? Yeah. The tempos. Yeah. I wore Pegasus. They can charge probably more like more than he's ever worn. Yeah. Cause I started Pegasus in like in college. What, what do you like them? Because of stability or? It's like like you know like I run on the ball of my foot. And it just really hits it really good for me, like like right there, just right there. I think that that works for you because like the way you run, yeah. it's like the best for you. And then this thing right here, is soft. Yeah. So I don't have to like that one just keeps on unlacing and stuff like that. But this, it's not, and I like it. Do you feel like it's bouncy? Forward? Yeah, it's also bouncy. Forward. Yeah, like I I just bounce like that. Yeah, but the thing that's why that's that's the difference. I don't wanna I don't wanna have that feel. Until no, when I wear 4%. They just feel heavy to me. I want to feel like, like that. I want to feel like that when I'm racing. See, mm -hmm. the 4% naturally makes you go forward. This yeah. one doesn't uh, really yeah. make you go Those forward. Those kind of slow me down. They too. don't roll. They don't roll. Yeah. They're just bouncing. Yeah. Try it. Right. You might yeah. love it. 